PGA Tour 2K25 information has not been released yet. and We have not heard any rumblings. And I'm going to tell you, this is not a clickbait video. And that's why I'm telling you straight up. This is purely a video on where I think this game is going to solidify itself when I expect the release of the game. And also to get your guys' opinions on what have kept you as here as long as possible and what you're looking forward to in the actual moving forward future. So do not forget to like, subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment down below of something that you'd see and maybe we can pass this along to the actual community and the actual developers if and when a game is expected to come out. So let's dive right on into it. If you are new to the actual 2K community, 2K21 came out and then two years after that, 2K23 came out. And then we would be expecting two years now, 2K25 to come out. They usually run on a two-year cycle, and it always drops sometime between August and October. And unfortunately, we have not heard anything so far. Now, why is that? And this is my personal opinion, obviously. I have not heard anything. I've reached out to some people, have not heard anything back on that. It's very hush-hush, and it's kind of strange. Um, and I think that is two reasons. For reason number one, I think... NBA 2K is their heavy hitter, right? So their heavy hitter is NBA 2K. That always releases between August and the end of September. Always releases then. That's their big money maker. And I think what they were doing is releasing these games similarly at the same exact time. And it kind of just muddied up the marketing money for them. It muddied up the release. Games usually run in a six month like popularity stance. So like after six months, people usually get stale. They go look for a new game. And I think that just didn't really work well for their actual model. And that was something that kind of really hurt them. So I don't think they really want to release two games at the exact same time in the exact same quarter anymore. And I think that is something that is very important to them. And like I said, this is my personal opinion. So I do take this with a grain of salt or take this with seriousness up to you. Like this is just my personal opinion. And then secondly... EA Sports PGA Tour, they released their game in April around the Masters. Now, that made a lot of sense. Golf is the most po most important and popular sport between the month of March and May simply because of the Masters. It's starting to roll out the players. All the big major seasons start to roll out then. So it really made a lot of sense to release a golf game around that time frame. And 2K didn't have competition when EA rolled their game out around that time frame. And I don't think that they liked that. So I would really expect, and my personal expectation is, we're not going to actually see 2K25 until 2K25. Until March to April to May time frame in the spring. I really think that they're going to save it so that they can have direct competition if EA does release a game. Um, I also believe that EA probably is not going to release a game, to be honest. They made almost a billion dollars off of NCAA and I really don't think that they're going to have a lot of desire to keep on going. If you go hop on those servers, there's really nobody playing online there. It's just my career mode stuff, but that only lasts for so long with a lot of people. And I don't think EA saw the sales that they really wanted to. I think a bunch of their people and their developers are going to be moving over to 2K and try to make 2K the best golf game that has ever been made. Um, but like I said, I could be wrong there. EA could roll out another one in April, but we have not heard anything about that game either. And I think 2K really doesn't want to, A, compete with NBA and their own NBA game. And B, I think they really want to roll it out when golf is the most popular rather than the August time frame when it's going against Madden, it's going against NBA, it's going against NCAA now, um, some other Call of Duties. I think there's a bigger market for them in the actual spring and that's when I fully expect this game to be released. Now let's talk about how I think this game could excel moving forward. Now, I really don't think that they have to do too much. And I know you probably agree or don't agree with that. Um, I really like the archetypes. I really like the skills. I really like the club fittings. I think all of that can stay. I think all of that can be slightly tweaked, but not change too much. I wouldn't even be mad if they just roll that same model over into the next game. I think that's really good. I think they did a great job there. They worked really hard, and I was really impressed with everything that they did. I think they can get rid of ball fittings. I don't think ball fittings are necessary. I think they just made the game uh, more difficult, and nobody even uses them anymore simply because of the advantages that they get. I really think you don't need ball fittings when it comes to that. 
If Top Golf stays as a sponsor, I think you can just turn the driving range into a Top Golf facility, lower it from Europe on the higher tier. Obviously, just put it on the base floor, and then you can still either A, have that Top Golf mode, or B, you can just use that as the range. Like, you don't really need a full range. You can just use that Top Golf to actually be the driving range in which you can practice. And I think that would be a really good aspect of joining the Top Golf with the actual driving range. Now for the competitive side, I think that's where it really needs to improve. And I think that's where it can take on to the next level. The graphics can obviously get a little bit better. The swing mechanics as in like the short game can look a little bit more realistic as close to like what EA Sports actually did. But I think the actual um, ranked mode is where they can actually do a lot of work and, and create this game so that way you actually want to stay for a year to two years and be playing day in and day out. Right now, the ranked mode is just pro, and you have all these swing aids and all of this stuff. And I think if you just separate it out between like a beginner ranked mode and a tier ranked mode, like a master's level, so you can have one on the pro and then you can have one in like the master's level, I think that would be super helpful and super informative to actually help separate the difference and keep people playing year in, year out, day in and day out. I think that is really because the society is pretty set. Like TGC does a great job with the societies. It pulls a lot of people in. Now, I think the ranked mode is where you can actually get people to be buying season pass stuff, to be actually ranking up, playing day in and day out, because that's what people actually want. Day in and day out competition and actual live competition. Playing by yourself is fun for so long in the societies, but it's all about the live multiplayer actual competition. I think if you pulled in a game mode like um, Divid Derby, but instead of doing first one to make it, I think if it's just like you versus 10 other opponents at the same time, and then like you get eliminated each in kind of like a bracket style, whoever gets the highest score gets eliminated. I think those are some game modes that could really be helpful. And then for the designer, uh, if you create the course designer, obviously there's always some some tweaks you can change there to make course design and creation a lot faster. So I highly recommend that aspect of it. But that's what that's my recommendations for this game. Fully expect not to see this game to come out until the spring. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Appreciate you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in another video.